In this video, we're going to review the process to upgrade a Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 device to Windows 10 using WSUS. I'm running Windows Server 2012 R2 and I've installed two hotfixes for WSUS. The first hotfix listed above enables support for the Windows 10 upgrades classification. This was released when Windows 10 was originally released via the WSUS catalog. The second hotfix was released for the Windows 10 anniversary update uh, that's going to be released on 8-2-2016. This KB allows WSUS to decrypt the uh, electronic software distribution files. This is the format that the upgrade is now uh, delivered in. So if we review the WSUS console, I've created a custom view just to make this easy to see only the upgrades that we're interested in. So I'm just showing the upgrades uh, classification, and for the products, I'm only showing Windows 7. This will list the upgrades for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. We can see that the Pro and Enterprise both have devices that need the update. Uh, just to save some time, I've already pre-approved the update, and it's been pre-downloaded within WSUS and approved for installation. So if I jump over to one of my Windows 7 clients, I'm going to choose Check for Updates to scan against WSUS. This will take one minute or two. Okay, so the scan just completed. I'm going to go ahead and choose the Get Started option here just to initiate this uh, installation faster. So it's going to run the uh, prerequisite check. It's just letting us know that all the prereqs were good and it's ready to download. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Close on that and now it's going to begin downloading in, uh, from WSUS. So I'll pause while the download completes. The download's now complete and now we're preparing for installation. So this may take some time to extract files and get everything ready to go. So I'll pause it while this uh, setup completes. Now that process is completed and it's saying that we're ready to upgrade and it's ready to restart our computer. So I'll go ahead and choose to restart. So we lost connection to the RDP session since the restart was initiated, but this is what the process is looking on the virtual machine that we're running it against. So it's going through and uh, completing the setup um, for the in-place upgrade. And this is what that would look like from a WSUS installation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this uh, current configuration where it's uh, staging and running the setup. Okay, so we just did a restart. So we're no longer in the Windows 7 OS anymore. We've now begun the first of three steps. Uh, we're currently in the Windows recovery environment, just applying the upgrade in that recovery environment. So I'll pause it here and then we'll come back once we're in stage two, which is installing features and drivers. Okay, so we just completed the copying file stage. Now this is the first uh, instance that we booted into the current Windows 10 OS. And now we're just installing features and migrating drivers. So I'll pause this until we get to step three. Okay, we are now in the third step of uh, upgrading Windows. So this is configuring settings and just doing some uh, additional configurations before we're ready to log in for the first time. So I'll pause this until this step gets completed. Okay, so that process completed, and now we're just going to go through this wizard for the first time. You can choose features like enabling Cortana or not. This can also be uh, configured using a policy as well. Uh, we'll just leave the defaults on all this. And now we're at the login screen. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And this is going to be the first login experience. And I'll pause it while this uh, profile is being migrated and logged in for the first time. Okay, so I'm now logged in. We can see that we have all the same desktop icons available. All the pictures, the sample text document that was here. Um, and, and their experience is really going to be, uh, it's going to look very similar as far as apps and user docs. Uh, than as they were on, on Windows 7. So that's the process for performing an in-place upgrade of a Windows 7 device using WSUS.